Welcome back, everybody, to the 31 Days of Dollar Tree Horror. Today is day 17. We're on day 17 already. Uh, this movie for today is Ghost Hunter, and here we have one that comes with a cool little slipcover. Let's get into the synopsis of this one. Consider the dilemma of Harry Price, the complex real-life psychic researcher famous for exposing the tricks of fraudulent spiritualists in London after World War I. When tricksters preyed on grieving families, he's infamous too for a few long ago frauds of his own. After a seance goes tragically awry, Harry vows to play it straight until a distraught, socially prominent woman asks him to rid her home of ghosts. Will he tell her the hard truth about the psychological source of her fear or conf comfort her with the lie she wants to hear? A chilling and engaging true story starring... Rafe Spall, is that how you pronounce his name? I have no idea. Um, that He is a, a familiar actor, though. But uh, first off, I do want to say this one has some decent jump scares and stuff, but not really all the way horror. I would say this one is more along the lines of a mystery thriller. So I would say this is a mystery thriller one with some horror elements. So... I did watch it. I'm going to throw it in here, and it is going to stay in the collection. This was a good little movie. Um, heavy on the drama and stuff, too. What this is is more of a Sherlock Holmes type of vibe. As you can see, it's set around that World War I time period, but he's basically trying to solve what's going on with this lady, and he even has an assistant. So it's like him and, you know, kind of like a Sherlock Holmes and uh watson or whatever his name is and they're just trying to figure this stuff out um there is some cool settings in here there's some really cool big like libraries i don't know i like them old school libraries but i don't know i just thought they looked really cool and uh sometimes i wonder how movies like this end up in the dollar tree i wonder how all these different movies end up in the dollar tree you know if these companies are just getting rid of overstock or if they come from stores that go out of business. If anybody has any insight on that, let me know. But yeah, this was a good movie. It's more along the lines of a thriller mystery, like I said, but it does have some horror elements. And uh, the wardrobe's cool. You know, all the old uh, outfits. It makes it seem like sometimes I wonder, you know, how they get all these old outfits and stuff for these type uh, flicks and stuff it's kind of cool when you just think of the complexities and all the stuff that goes into a simple movie and I think this one was even maybe a made for TV movie so yeah it was uh it was worth a watch uh here it is day 17 and this one was Ghost Hunter